What's up everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to Sephora's Motorsport for today's video. And we're going to be taking a look at this very specific car here. The Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro. Someone in one of my comments on a previous video actually asked me to take a look at this thing. Look at it. It's mad. It is ridiculous. I don't know why they put it in this room because it's so terrible with the lighting that's in this room. Shouldn't be this. Shouldn't, yeah, I feel like this room should be one of them that should have some of the best lighting. I don't really want to see... Stuff like this that's so dark that I can't, I can't really notice what's going on. Uh, please, please, uh, turn 10. Give us the main room back with all the lights on every wall so we can actually see what's going on on the car. I want to see every little bit of detail. I want to see lighting from every angle. I don't really care about the shadows and shading in here, right? That's all perfectly fine. Keep that onto, like, the tracks and stuff. But here, I want to see what's going on. Like, I, I can't even see the interior. It's so dark. But yeah, it's, it's there. There's a there's some crazy crazy things and crazy lines going on with this guy. Obviously, we haven't had this guy in any other game so far. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is just fresh in this game as well. So, uh, yeah, that dude asked me to try it out. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. I mean, I haven't played with it yet, so I have no idea what to really expect here. But we'll take it out on rivals. He did say that for some rivals, this thing is OP. Uh, oh, apparently you can do uh, P class rivals or X class rivals even. That's uh, that's very interesting. I don't even know what this thing is in. Is it is it in X class? I think it might be, but he did say that this thing absolutely owns a lot of these tracks. So we'll try and give that a shot. I want to bring it on a very simple track. First of all, we start off with something nice and nice and easy. What can we even bring it to? The more that's not very easy. Maple Valley is a good one, except it's got some very high speed. You know what? Let's bring it out on Maple Valley. We'll try it. We'll try and see what we can do here. Time, time apparently is 6 minutes 21 seconds. Some guy literally went on this and did 6 minutes on the Maple Valley track. We'll go on the on the short track just to test it out. And then I'll bring it out on a slightly bigger track. Also, for people that don't know, is uh, they've already announced that the Nordschleife is going to come back. They put it out, uh, post out on Twitter. So um, go and check that out. And, and uh, I'm definitely going to be making a video on that as well just uh, as soon as it comes out but for right now obviously it's not out yet so we don't know exactly when it's going to drop but uh, obviously they're going to release the Nordschleife um, and uh, it's very loud lots of echoing going on oh my god this thing grips Oh my god, this thing grips. Oh my... Bro. <laughs> what is this? I should have brought it on the normal size track. Why does this have so much grip? Okay, I'm, I'm going way too fast as some of these corners because I'm, I'm just not slowing down enough, but... Oh, big lag, but it changed my rival. Let's try to do a slightly cleaner lap. Okay. I mean, that was faster, but worse? Man, this thing grips up so hard. It's stupid. I want to bring it on a faster track. That's better. Accelerating at a corner like that is much better. It's still a bit sketchy, a little bit iffy, but... It's still better. 28.3. There's someone in the same car as me now, I think. So yeah, apparently this thing just dominates the leaderboards on this game right now. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Okay, let's try that again. Oh my god, man. I'm, like, holding my breath sometimes with this thing because it's just so fast. Oh my god. Is this the fastest car around the track? In this game, right now? It's definitely the f I think it's definitely the fastest X-Class car on this track. Well, actually, X-Class is the fastest class in the game, so of course it'd be the fastest car. Man, that is mad. Let's finish that race. I want to bring it on a bigger track because that's ridiculous. That is crazy. Yeah, that's fun. Whatever. Oh my god, we can actually get it to be even faster. <laughs> I just realized we could give it some wider tires than that. Uh, <laughs> right. Where am where, where am I in the world? Is it, okay, it, it shows. So my friends is I'm one out of two on this track. I'm 48th in Europe and I'm 72nd in the world. I mean, there's only a thousand people on this, but the, I'm like, it's mad. This is, I think, the new, new fastest car on a track in this game. Jesus, that is mental to drive. That is actually mad to drive. Uh, actually, no, Brivals is fine to test this thing out on. Um, however, oh yeah, that's why I backed out. I was like thinking, why did I go all the way back out? But it was so I can upgrade this thing. Um, this. So what kind of upgrade options do we really have here? So we can add weight to this thing. Tires. We can genuinely just change tire width on this thing. Tire compound. Surely that's not really a thing, right? And then wheels, that's it. We now made this even more grippy than before. Somehow, some way, it's it's grippier than what it was before. How is that even possible? Alright, we'll slap that on and we'll go again. Jesus, man. I wanna try and drive with the like cockpit view as well with this thing, because I feel like that'd be kind of kind of sick. I'm just looking at, at these. I don't even want to touch these. You can probably change these, so you can make them even better. But I don't want to touch the just anything here. Yeah, look at that downforce, that's mad. I kind of want to change a few things here, to be honest with you. But the amount of downforce that this has and how it rotates, I just don't think that adjusting my alignment to do that, or adjusting my, my springs and numbers setup to, to actually do that. So I'm going to leave it like this, for now. Uh, if I really want to, I can adjust stuff later on, but for right now, it, it feels just way too fast for me anyway. Especially if I don't play this game for a really long time, and then I hop back on and I play it. It's just... This is just a fast, fast car. Let's go on Spa. Why would we not go on Spa? Let's, uh... Let's hop on. And we'll go out. That's mad how fast this thing is. We'll just do a few, a few runs with this thing. I'm not gonna be, like, spending way too long in this video, because I don't really feel like it. But just enough to test this car out on. Because, again, it's not like it's, uh... Uh, we can do anything else with it, you know? I can just kind of drive it around on the track and and test it out. But let's bring it out with Spa. I think Spa should be should be quite a fun one. I really wonder what it's like it was got a sound like like from the inside. Oh my god, you can't see anything. That's so cool that you can see the wheels though. This is fast. Oh my god. This is so sketch from the inside. What's the better view? We'll try this one. Wow. Man, the amount of grip that this has is stupid. It's just the second when you're coming out of a corner, you have to be really careful with the acceleration. You can kind of short shift it to third and try and try and just kind of use the transmission to help you put just the right amount of power down, basically. So you don't slip, but other than that. Other than that, if you're just going to keep it in second, 
definitely keep it either really high in the revs, or just make sure that you're really high in the revs, or be super, super, super smooth on, the, on your throttle coming out of corners, because this thing will pop that back end out instantly. Man, not slowing down for any of these corners is mad to me. I've never actually driven anything like this fast in this game. I think ever since like it's released, I kind of just did the career mode and we drove some supercars and hypercars and all that sort of stuff, but I never drove anything crazy like this. I don't remember driving anything crazy like this anyway. This is just like on another level, man. Good shout from the guy in the comments of my video. Very much appreciate that. I'm gone. I'm gone. Let's go all the way back to before the start finish line. I want to do like a nice clean lap at this thing. I kept my foot planted there. I just wanted to see what would happen. See if I was able to uh, to go past that. It doesn't really matter about this. Like I just want to have like a clean lap. You know what I mean? If you go before the start finish line, if the rewind will let me, perfect. And I don't have to do another lap. You know. Whoa. That was sketchy. <laughs> that was very sketchy. I I I was I got scared. <laughs> I got scared at the lift. Obviously, because of the last time that we we drove there. God. This is a nuts car, man. We'll just do this one more lap here and then we'll kind of leave it alone. I don't really want to spend way too long in this thing, but this is a mental car. Oh no, man! Oh god, that sucks. Like, I kind of want to push this hard as, like, obviously as hard as I possibly can, but at the same time, it's it's just a hard car to drive because everything happens so fast, right? The corners are coming at you really quickly, <laughs> and the way this thing steers, it's like it's on rails. Like you. Picture it like this, right? You point your stick or whatever. If you're on a wheel, it'd be even more ridiculous how quick you have to be with your 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 responses. But basically, everything's coming at you so fast that you have to like react very very quickly to each and every corner and every circumstance. Right? You get what I mean? So like, like this corner is gonna come up here now. We fully have to go right and then left. But you have to be so careful that you don't do it too fast. Okay, that, that, that should be fine. I, I'm thinking I'm a little bit quicker than before. <clears throat> but again, I, I lifted slightly. Because I didn't really expect to, to make it through that corner. Bakes are... Oh, uh, bakes. Brakes are phenomenal on this thing, though. I can't, I can't really like them. They're unbelievably good. What a machine. What a machine, man. There we go. I'm much faster than what I was before. Look at that. Oh. oh I saw that backhand come out and I crapped myself a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. A little bit of poo came out. This man, how have I pulled a second again just in that one corner? I don't know what I did before in that one corner that I messed up so badly, but I pulled another second. I'm two seconds ahead now.
Oh my god. We'll leave it there. Holy <laughs> crap. Man, this thing is nuts. I actually want to pull a, a nice little screenshot with this thing. Oh, sorry. I forgot this game is absolutely dense. I don't understand what's going on with this game. I can't put on shutter speed because it doesn't focus on the car itself. Am I wrong in saying this? Like, what can I really do to fix this? If I do that, right, it'll focus on the car. But if I go and I press this, the, the focus button, it'll focus on the actual track itself. How mad is that? How stupid is that? With this thing. That if I press the focus button, basically I'm trying to focus maybe on different parts of the track or different parts of the car. It just absolutely craps itself and it doesn't know what to do. But, yeah. Anyway, what an unbelievable car. It's mental. It's crazy to drive and it looks ridiculous as well. I mean, it's it's basically just a straight up race car, but it's absolute monster of a car. Alright, everyone. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then of course subscribe. Try the Aston for yourselves. Yeah, there's the glowing brakes as well, this thing. Try the Aston for yourselves. Uh, let me know what you think of it, because in my opinion, it is an unbelievably good car to drive. Like, it's it's the best car in this game by the looks of things. It's dominating every single rival event on, uh, on this game, which is nuts. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.